Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at adding rational expressions with multivariate monomial denominators, basic form. All right, so we have to add 4 over 9w squared times x plus 5 over 6w times x squared and simplify the answer as much as possible. Step one. Find your least common multiple of your denominators or the least common denominator. So the least common multiple of 9w squared x and 6w x squared. So let's start with the 9 and the 6. We need to find the first multiple they have in common or the first number they'll go into. So I know 6 won't go into 9. The next multiple of 9, 9 times 2 is 18. 6 will go into 18, so the first multiple that 9 and 6 have in common is 18. All right, now let's look at the variables. Remember, every variable that you see must be represented uh, in your least common multiple. So we have w squared and w. Use the highest exponent, w squared. We have x and x squared. Use the highest exponent, x squared. All the variables are represented. Alrighty, now we need to figure out what did I, well, let's come over here and start off by writing our new common denominator here. And then I need to figure out what did I multiply 9w squared x by to get 18w squared x squared. Again, if I cannot just figure that out, let's divide that common denominator by the original denominator and that tells me what I multiplied by. So 18 divided by 9 is 2. W squared over W squared cancels out. X squared over X to the first quotient rule is X to the first. So that tells me that I multiply by 2X. Okay, my second denominator was, let's do it again, 18 W squared X squared divided by 6w x squared. 18 divided by 6 is 3. w squared divided by w to the first is w to the first. And the x squares cancel out. So that tells me I multiply this second denominator by 3w to get to my common denominator. So I need to multiply the numerator by the same thing. Alrighty, now we got that out of the way, we need to simplify. So we have 8x plus 15w all over 18w squared x squared. And make sure you look at all three of those numbers, the, the numbers in those terms to see if they have a common factor, 8, 15, and uh, 18. They don't have a common factor, so we and we cannot factor anything out, so we cannot simplify this anymore. This is our final answer. So again, find the least common multiple, see what we multiplied each denominator by to get to the least common multiple, multiply the numerators by the same thing, and simplify. All righty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.